The number of confirmed deaths has passed 200. The governor has called a state of emergency. There are hundreds and hundreds of bodies lying in the streets. Wikipedia describes The Last of Us as an action-adventure survival horror video game. That's a lot to fit into a description and to fit into a game. The whole thing, on average, lasts 25 or so hours from start to finish. The game, set in 2033, follows two strangers thrown together, Joel and Ellie, on their quest across a post-apocalyptic United States. They're trying to find a cure for a fungal infection that controls its hosts, turning them into something terrifyingly non-human. For most of these 25 hours of gameplay, the game is dark, cramped, and claustrophobic. At times, it is genuinely scary. Some of its heavier scenes revolve around a group of cannibals, the heartless killing of Joel's daughter, and countless other deaths of beloved characters we meet along the way. At its worst, The Last of Us is apocalyptic, anarchic, and hard to watch. But it isn't always. What makes the game so incredible is its ability to deftly balance such pervasive darkness with light. What are we doing? This is taking entirely too long. You doing nothing and walking around doing nothing. That light comes in the form of Joel and Ellie's relationship. Between seriously disturbing scenes of cannibals, slaughter, and lawlessness, Joel and Ellie's bond is perhaps the strongest driving force of this narrative. Hey, look. <laughs> gnomes. Yeah, those are gnomes. Man, I had an art book filled with these. I always thought they were super cute. <laughs> Not fairies, though. They creep me out. All right, man. It's the little moments between these two, conversations that do nothing but deepen this main relationship, and the connection we as audience members have to them, that really cement this game as what The Edge has called the most riveting, emotionally resonant, story-driven epic. These moments may come at lulls in the action-packed storyline, walking from place to place, figuring out puzzles, etc., but they feel just as, if not more, significant. Hearing them talk, at least they're scared of us. Just try not to let your guard down. I'm just saying, it's good having you on my side. That's a compliment. Okay. The small pieces of dialogue create the father-daughter-esque dynamic that makes Joel and Ellie's relationship so moving and poignant. They inject levity and humor into a narrative that desperately needs it and help make these characters feel authentic. Oh, I'll be checking in for one night, and I would like your finest suite, please. What the hell are you doing? <gasps> Why, yes, you can take my luggage upstairs. You are a weird kid. While the rest of the game's action is certainly entertaining, it's these glimmers of light that really make the game worth playing. Mm -hmm.